Hi, it's SAP TechEd again. It's 2018. We're in Barcelona. I'm gratefully, uh, very grateful even to be here with Sven and Phil from SAP. We're going to talk a little bit about the intelligent enterprise and what that means. So first, Phil, can you give us a bit of an overview of what it is, what SAP think about it? So basically the intelligent enterprise is to, supposed to enable companies to leverage disruptive technologies and bring them to the next level of intelligence capabilities and uh, to basically get those services supplied by our SAP Pro platform. Now, what we did here at TechEd, we wanted to give uh, uh, people coming here a little bit of insight of what kind of vision do we have around the intelligent enterprise in uh, parity with our, our partners. So we have two showcases that we're uh, showing around Adidas and how their uh, supply chain is basically infused with the intelligent enterprise to showcase the entire part of design and manufacturing of a shoe, customizing it for the end user, all the way to the delivery of a drone part. Mm -hmm. And then the second part is around Cargo Sutra, which is uh, the uh, a vision that the Swiss railway system has of leveraging the underground tunnel works and creating a digital supply chain uh, that is automated that takes the entire cargo off the streets into the underground and basically distributes them automatically. That's the visionary part. Then uh, to, to deep dive a little bit into it, we're basically deconstructing the three pillars of the intelligent enterprise around the digital platform, the intelligent technologies, and the intelligent suite. Mm -hmm. And then at the last piece, which is right next to me here, uh, is how SAP runs SAP from Christian Klein's board area, an experience app that showcases the end-to-end -end use cases and everything that's below it. Okay, great. Now, interestingly, in, in your answer there, and, and certainly from, since Sapphire earlier this year, one of the words that keeps cropping up is intelligence, intelligence. We've got the intelligent enterprise, the intelligent suite. You know, that's obviously absolutely core to where SAP are going. Sven, what, what does that mean from your perspective in the world of S4 and related technologies? Yeah, so first of all, intelligence is something that we want to enable the customers to get intelligent. This is not a product. Mm -hmm. This is how we enable them. If I look from the core, there are two things I need to look at. Number one, when I look at data, the machine, the platform will help us to come from data that is shared within different systems, very cumbersome, to one central point where you have the business function leading and as an accumulation of the data at one point where everyone can be fed from. The second part is the user. Because at the end of the day, if you have different systems, you need to put this, the user and the user experience at the forefront. We're doing that with technology, mm -hmm. Fiori, a co-pilot, digital assistant that across line of business solutions will know who you are, what you're doing, give you the right information. And of course, from the platform, we get the underneath technology, which is important, like how do you automate? And here in the forefront, we have machine learning, RPA, as we announced yesterday. And those are the ingredients where you can lead that transformation, that intelligent enterprise from the core out, and that's S4. Okay, and again, picking up on some of the words that Phil threw in and something you said, Dennis, man, about the digital platform, and you know, for me, that is cloud platform. Again, where, where does the digital platform fit into this? How does it glue it all together? And you know, what, what's the real important aspect that that relates to the intelligent enterprise? Yeah. So fancy technology doesn't help anyone. The question is how you consume it. Sure. And the platform is actually where we tap into as reliable, robust, and open services that help us to feed any solution, specifically at SAP, but also around us, that's why openness does matter, because no customer is alike. Now, if you want to enable them for the intelligent enterprise, let me break it down to three things. Number one, artificial intelligence. Everyone talks about it. Machine learning has been a PhD concept two years ago. It's reality. In the cloud, we're delivering that every quarter, new concepts around that. RPA helps, but at the end of the day is the question, what business process do you automate? Brings me to the second point, which are the next generation business processes. The customers want an outcome of that. So you need to rethink the traditional way, even how you run your business, where you are planning, you are analyzing, you are steering. That's just not fast enough. We need to have an HR worker working together. And that's where that intelligent piece, supported by technology, helps them. And again, let's not forget the UX, the use experience, the end user. If you don't feed them at the right point with the right data to make the right decisions across whatever you have, then you will not get to that agility you need. You're not going to be intelligent. And again, S4 is steering that from the core out. Okay, and, and again, picking up on a few of your words there. Um, from Sapphire, it was all about the intelligent enterprise, the intelligent suite. Um, but just now, Sven, you've alluded to a lot of capabilities that are here and now. 
you know, if I was an existing S4HANA customer on premise or in cloud, how could I take advantage of this sort of next week when I get back to the office? So first of all, an important element, and this is where, where Phil and myself are always very outspoken, is there's an ecosystem out there. Mm -hmm. And no one knows better how that specific customer will work and needs to work. So I think the ecosystem, thanks to the platform, the consumability and the openness again, they will leverage that a lot. In S4, for example, we have a software development kit on the SAP Cloud Platform, who enables you to reduce your development time by 50%, which is important, we're here at TechIt. On the other side, you need that ecosystem as well, because they know that last mile, they know those micro verticals. And that's why we are having them in, and we're having them developing on top of, exactly with the same technology that we use as SAP, and that's now. Excellent. Okay, that's been great, Phil. Obviously, lots of people hoping will see this interview, people have been at the TechEd this week. You know, what's the best way for people to go when they go home, find more information about the Intelligence Enterprise, SAP's Intelligence Suite, what's the next stop to get them moving on that journey? So, if they haven't been here or if they saw it online, uh, come to sap.com slash Intelligent Enterprise. It'll give you a nice depiction of all the components in the Intelligent Enterprise. It'll give you some sample videos around the showcases that we had here in virtual reality, mm -hmm. reduced back to 2D, so you can actually consume it without any extra gear just in your browser or um, go to your account executive and ask him about SAP Runs SAP. Sure. He knows about it, he can bring it to the table in, uh, from an internal perspective, and he can discuss it openly with you and all the components that are, were involved for SAP to make this move and how we as SAP can enable you to make that same move. Excellent, thank you. And maybe adding just one point, it starts actually now. S4 has sure. been decided exactly around that, and best you consume it via the cloud, because it's a faucet innovation, but predictive analytics, user experience, machine learning is already baked in there. And as long as you produce something, even if it's a service, something has been shipped, even if it's a service, or something is paid, there is a need for that core. And S4 is the most modern one we have, which fuels that intelligent enterprise approach. And I think interestingly, I'd, I'd, for me, I'd probably finish up a, the, the, the pertinent point there, Sven, is this is something that's here and now. Yes, it's visionary. Yes, it's strategy. But actually, we can do it tomorrow when we get back to the office. It's there. It's enabled. The capabilities are there. And, you know, let's go and have fun and be an intelligent enterprise. I couldn't have said it better. Excellent. Thank you very much. Gents, so everyone who's been watching, I hope you found this useful and, for me, uh, and informative. Again, Phil and Sven from SAP. I'm Gareth Ryan. I've really enjoyed chatting to these guys about intelligent enterprise. Thanks very much and see you again soon. Bye now.